presidents i would like a list of 11 projects here five of them have been done by the sri lankans six have been done by the foreigners the ones which have been done by the foreigners is six times or four times the cost of our estimate and the ones which we have done is one third or one fourth of the foreign estimate i like to table this one in this one we have done maduroi this is a very good example for all of you engineers i am the oldest guy here 79 so rest some of you must be 55 maduroi estimate done by kulasinga was only 725 million rupees and the canadians gave a loan of 2450 when kulasinga asked for the money from the treasury treasury said we have no money but treasury finally spent 850 million rupees counterpart funds so question arises how did the minister of finance give 850 million rupees as counterpart funds when he could not give 725 to ccb to do madurai that's one we have spent four or five times and sir mr president sir we are still continuing in the same fashion in most of the projects then number 2 kalani bridge kalani bridge estimate rbi estimate was 540 million only Japanese gave 500 million uh, uh, grant and then they gave another 1000 million and then we spent our 540 on grant on uh, counterpart funds we spent 2040 million rupees for that bridge we could have done four bridges across kalani now these are the decisions made by engineers as well as politicians and the administrators and the planners I am 79 I worked 53 years I worked with all these people so all these people are to be blamed on this one and Mr President uh, listening to your speeches in the last 3 4 months I find you have some kind of thing to change this one now you are talking about motivation uh, when we had the 1957 floods 1500 tanks failed in this country including 34 big tanks that time bandarnayak was the prime minister he wanted to bring british consultants and contractors he asked the minister uh, minister cpd silva shall we bring consultants and contractors from england then uh, mr cpd silva said no sir we will ask gunasekara first gunasekara was the director of irrigation at that time and he was called and asked shall we bring consultants he said no sir you went play your tennis now 430 don't waste time you give me the rupees i'll do the job and sir in the next 12, 10 months all the tanks 1500 were repaired uh, so that they could get the water raining in the next uh, monsoon that's the biggest engineering feat this country has ever seen but that time director general irrigation we had only 100 engineers and 100 ts in the irrigation department today we have 381 engineers and i don't know whether 1000 or 1500 middle level technical people they the kind of thing we have produced we produce over 1500 engineers a year from all the universities but i they have got the nine a levels nine o levels and four a levels and all but first class bsc engineering and all that but can they work? can they apply the principles that they have studied for human well being to develop natural resources no most of them can't as somebody said we should stop teaching engineering then some minimum rb canal 600 million was our estimate and the italians got the contract for 1200 then mini pe nagadeepa irrigation so this is about me tamangana ki inaka parabayata karana ki unar me kiyan dore mini pe nagadeepa 455 million was the estimate of the of the japanese consultants sdncc estimate of 155 i was the chairman of the sdncc when this went to the cabinet then about i think probably dr jayachandra was there uh they asked a question can you do it at 155 while the japanese have a 455 estimate then the man who was in the technical evaluation committee my friend he said no you give it to ads and they gave it to us and we completed that at 136 million instead of 455 this is the this is the quality of the work and this is the capability of the sri lankans everybody can't be director of irrigation or secretary of irrigation and so on but they can lead other people to do lot of work lot of good work then kudaga uh, lavana another one our estimate was 90 million irrigation department japanese were referring to 250 we completed this job in we had 60 million in 3 months these are 225 
feet long anikatta across maniganga 10 kilometers long canal 45 structures concrete structures and you will wonder how we completed in 3 months but we did complete that in 3 months then we had a go of course 1800 million we spent 2000 million and completed in 3 years then kalutara bridge sir now railway gmr was talking about bridges all these bridges were done by the sri lankans in the ancient days now this one estimate was 110 scans ka who came to do kotmale they were hanging around in this country once they go to a country they don't leave they asked for this job from the government and they gave the job and it cost us 245 million we could have done three bridges across kaluganga with that money and we are producing engineers spending lot of money on free education paying them salaries every month every year for 20 years 30 40 years but you are not getting work out of most of them now we produce 1500 engineers a uh, year now those days when we came it was about 60 or 70 another one for bridges tanamalvel udawalwe bridge now sir this one estimate given by the rda at that time was 23 million 23 million but the irrigation department did it for 6.1 million the the cost of construction rda can't have one estimate what about can't have another estimate ccb ceb has another estimate and the irrigation department has said no it can't happen when we were 25 or 30 year olds it did not happen at the institution they discussed all this and those things were put in place properly to develop local resources for human well being good afternoon